So, rough day in Shadowland. Uh, playing through a couple Grixis leagues. Did not do, go particularly well. So now we're just going back to pseudo old faithful with uh with John or not John Fractus. Throwing in some Mishra's bobbles because apparently everybody says uh, you can't play Rakdos or Dragon's Rage Chandler or whatever without Mishra's bobble, and we are the scum of the earth if we choose not to play bobble. But whatever, let's give it a roll, see what happens. Um, the main deck we cut the second Nurturing Peatland. The Coligan's Command, the third Inquisition, and the third Fatal Push for four baubles. Sideboard, we cut the third Turok for the second Dolphy. A little more Grave Hate, a little less four color, five color pile hate. So let's go ahead and uh, jump in, see how it goes. Someone said it in chat today, so it must be true. Well, you're not wrong. People say everything in chat, though. I always think it's kind of funny how people come up with opinions and will just absolutely die by them before admitting that maybe what they thought was the case might not be like entirely accurate. Maybe there's some flexibility here and there. Like here's a, a good example. You can't build Rakdos shadow without Mishra's bobble. If you're not playing Mishra's bobble, it's cause you just don't know what's good about Mishra's bobble. And your deck's better by including Bobble. Uh, here's a Rakdos Shadow list and Goldfish. Oh, it's us. That's kind of cool. Uh, there's no other Rakdos. Oh, here's another Rakdos, and it's us. Um, here's a whole lot of nobody doing anything with Rakdos. But apparently we're wrong. So. Whoops. <laughs> Alright. We've got to keep an eye on these baubles. They could have been either K Command, a land, uh, an Inquisition, or a Fatal Push. So like, if this were the Nurturing Peat land right now, I'm probably keeping this hand. So that's what we want to keep an eye on. Let's drop a channeler bubble in that. But I had a whole lot of angry people saying like, oh, bobble speeds up channeler. Like I am well aware what the card Mishra's bobble does. <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that, but it doesn't make it a card that you're just like automatically throwing into every deck. I want shadow. Yeah, play shadow. I know what you mean. Nobody plays you and I have multiple trophies with it. Right. Like it's really, really I don't think stupid's the right word, because I don't ever want to call anybody stupid for opinions. It's um uh, not disingenuous. Just doesn't seem like a good idea to start going around saying like, oh, list X, Y, Z, whatever is wrong because it's not playing the specific cards that I think it should be playing. Oops. Uh, turn. 
I do want to throw this fatal push at the Golos to try to... It'll get Delirium for the Channeler, but I might be able to filter into, like, a Dismember or something and just kill them here. Dismember, Battle Rage. Chickabog's fine. Seas is pretty good here. Lightning bolt. Um, profane commands coming off suspend. I don't know if I'm going to want lightning bolt or not. We're taking Kazorak. But I do know I'm not playing out. Uh, the Scourge here, because if they Profane Tutor and just go get a Damnation, then Scourge looks pretty bad. Just getting another Cabal Coffers. Cataracts. All right. This is going to be a pretty rough matchup. I do think it'll get a little bit better once we go post board and we can get like fatal pushes and stuff out of our deck. But, I mean, there are cards you have to play like Bolt and Burn, but that doesn't mean you can't play the deck in another way or style. For the most part, we're on the same page there. <laughs> All right, what are you hitting? Spin the wheel of Golos. Archon cling thoughts these. Archon does it. So we get in better cards. I don't want to just bring in like anything with power and toughness for the most part. Get, uh, get some of these dead cards out of the deck. Scourge isn't going to be as good in the face of Cling to Dust like we saw there, so I don't want to be all in on the Scourge plan. Chalice of the Void could stop Profane Tutor. Uh, I think I'm going to lead on an Inquisition here. So 
Cycle Wraith Inquisition. Arn the Great Creator, Cruelty of Gix. Damnation. Rogue Factor didn't win me a lot of games. You mean just like playing something that your opponent doesn't necessarily recognize? Found another land, another damnation. Oh boy. I don't even know what Cruelty of Gix does, but... I'm sure it kills me somehow. Our opponent reveals their hand, you choose a creature, Planeswalker, discard it, search the lawyer for a card, put it into your hand, put the target card from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your Murderous Rider? Jeez. Calm down, OP. The deck, indeed. Love to hit like a thought seize off their deck. I do not believe how many games brush fire elemental wins for me. I mean, I can take a pretty good guess. I probably wouldn't be that too far off, but... Alright. Damnations are finally gone. And we hit the thought seas finally. Okay. Cruelty gets back a creature, so it gets Scourge here. Ball coffers doesn't really do a whole lot. Expedition map for Urborg. Play Urborg. Is that what I'm most afraid of? Play map. Crack map. Go get Urborg. Play Urborg. Urborg Swamp Cabal Coffers makes one, two, three, four, five, six. Do 
Do I care about Karn with six mana? I think I do. What are you playing Saturday, Tassiger? I don't know yet. Me and Stanford are getting together tomorrow to uh, discuss. Herborg, Herborg, yep. Six mana, not enough for Karn plus Bridge, which is the important part here. Get like a walking ballista. I've got bolt. Do in fact get a walking ballista. That also works. I, uh, I, uh, game. Funny, those were the last two bolts in the deck. I don't think I'm really changing anything up. This hand had a ragavan. I ain't gotta ship it. No. Cycle Wraith first in case I hit a uh, uh, in case I hit a Ragavan. I'd rather Ragavan than Channeler. No, <laughs> the backup blood for Thoughtsies. Times opponents just want it more. All right, third blood moon off the top, one time. You can do it, deck. Or second blood moon off the top. All right, go.
log me. Leaving the window open and we can't capitalize. Lightning bolt off the top. Flip over delirium. Good. Nope. All right. <laughs> All right, are we going to get it? No. <laughs> Blood Moon, why do you let me down? <laughs> oh, man. Flip over Delirium. It's so easy. Yolos or just fair enough. All right, so we need like a shadow or a scourge or you know a, a Mishra's bobble instead of a live spell. Should have waited to crack that, but I think we're pretty dead regardless. Maybe not. Maybe not. Take a ragavan. How would you play that off your swamp? All right, Ragioli. I don't think I'm casting that one. Yeah, <laughs> Rakdos OP. Oh man, we did not deserve that. Did not deserve that at all. God, matching sucks. Not wrong sometimes. Sometimes you just don't deserve a win. Someone up there is looking out that for you.
What do we got for the next round? Imagine playing mono black and losing to Blood Moon. Don't have to imagine it. Saw it. I guess I didn't update the deck, did I? I wasn't thinking about it with this just being like a, uh, a wash the bad taste out league. Should have played Feed the Swarm and got it with Tutor. Well, I guess uh, he either didn't think I was on Blood Moon or he didn't see it game two. All right, deck list should be updated now. I mean, mono green devotion folded to it sometimes too. Well, Nick Thos is a hell of a magic card, right? Mm -hmm. Fetch into it. Carry on. Never forget that guy playing spin to win in modern. I beat him by casting a Genesis wave for 40. Too big of a Genesis wave. All right. Who wants to bet money that this Ragavan hits a thought seize off the top of my library? Are you ready for it? We, we talk about this. <laughs> I wish I was joking when I say Ragavan hits thought sees like clockwork against me. I'm going to have to clip that and send it to Mirabito. Like, juice box coming in with a hundred bits. Thank you so much. We are a wizard from time to time. Oh, are we a wizard that gets revenge too? It hurts. It does, it does hurt sometimes. All right, that opponent's going to rip the Unholy Heat off the top. Or no, sorry, sorry. Expressive Iteration into Unholy Heat. Iteration into Unholy Heat. Oh, this is not 
wicked gamers in. Counterspell then. Got the blind rip. Nope. Cool. <laughs> I guess the blind rip is the opponent not knowing how a scourge and battle rage works. We take those. Purses. Dolphy. I feel so good calling that thought sees. Just like, uh, I think it's actually happened to us twice today that opponents hit me for with a ragavan and hit thought sees. Need to actually play Recto Shadow now that I have it. Uh, it's pretty okay. Forgot to update the stream title too. Whoops. Like, if you're wanting to play a variation of Shadow that lives and breathes by the idea of my opponent is at 20 life and I would like them to not be at that number anymore, then... I think this is a uh, is reasonable. Big keep. Yep. Fortunately, I think I have to ship. Darcy. I'm going to lead with an Inquisition. They have Force of Negation in against me. believe that's a particularly scary magic card. Got it. Counterspell, force negation, subtlety, two unknowns. Same hand. Same hand minus a bobble. Same hand again. Uh, an Inquisition or a Thought Seize would be a really good draw here. Yeah, they 
saw my hand Gotta be another spot removal spell, right? Just gonna throw this hearse out there. I'm gonna have to think of how to implement a more aggressive style to Gen Shadow while still allowing it to reach the mid game. Um, don't really have a lot of good options, unfortunately. It's kind of you can either play aggressive or you can play uh, the mid range game, but the two really don't overlap in a Shadow Shell that much. When it goes to kill my channeler, am I responding with Bolt? let this one resolve you can totally unholy heat it it's fine Freaking spell snare oh we are digging deep on the list of playable spells today the shadow there you go They going to Archmage's Charm by Shadow. No. I just found another spot removal spell.
Now, do you have a another copy of Unholy Heat or Lightning Bolt? Dude, I think literally all he's drawn are counter spells, unholy heats, and lightning bolts. Don't believe he has missed one yet. We had one draw that was a, a land. Is, it, is this going to be the shadow that goes the distance? Subtlety, force negation, three unknowns. They've cast triple lightning bolt. Not super afraid of being bolted out here. The shadow actually going to go the distance. I'm not going to lie. That would probably be the funniest thing ever. Go through all of these spells and then just like a random little 3-3 three, three shadow. Get in there. I guess he's not really a 3-3. Three, three. Dolphy Voidwalker. Lightning bolt to your face. So if it's double force, double blue card. There's another counter spell gone. <laughs> oh man that was like probably the most miserable win I've had in a minute <laughs> just so much absolutely nothing <laughs> Mr. T, appreciate it. Thanks for uh, coming around and hanging out. What do we got for round three? Something eventually. these days uh, 
There we go. Um. Okay. Definitely going to be matchup dependent, but got some positive points. Another Merc died. Initial impression is I'm assuming this is another Merc Tide. Lightning Bolt, Unholy Heat, three copies of Expressive Iteration. Okay. Settle in for the long haul. Both Merc Tide is the deck, but I'm so priced out of it. I mean, now that they're running, like, Bobble plus, uh, Iteration's not too bad. I think they're, like, three, four bucks a piece. But Bobble, Merc Tide, Ragavan. Really, really banking on finding a land somewhere in those last couple draws. Need lands. How often do you have mana issues or can't find lands in this list playing 17 lands? Uh, so normally I play 19. I play 18 lands plus uh, a copy of Agadine. This list with Mishra's Bobble cut on a land. Top deck of Merc died. I did. Land. 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 Thank you. Okay. So. I, we just have to dismember plus bolt. Hands like our opponent's hand there makes me sad. There's not an effective stack-based combo deck in the format to punish it. I mean, I wouldn't complain if there was. Because, like, obviously we thrive against stack-based combo. But... Die to this. Okay. I mean, I guess if we can find another land, maybe they miss, we can dash back Ragavan and Scourge Outgrows Heat. Might be a little chance for us. Really effective combo deck would help the format so much. You mean like Living End or Rhinos? <laughs> Yeah. 
and we had so many good chances to win this game if we could just find lands Spell, spell pierce. Nothing. I mean, shadow off the top would be pretty good as well. Or we hit like a, a bolt or an unholy heat off the top of their library. Nope. All right. But I do, uh, I agree with what Steven's saying. Like the format does need a good combo deck. And Living End is annoying, but anytime you have a deck that just folds to like four endurance, which all the four color piles are playing, that certainly makes it a lot weaker of an option. Like, we do need some sort of just, uh, like you said, you have to interact on the stack combo deck that doesn't just lose to uh, Endurance. And I mean, that could be the case. It could just be that, like, that spot that you're wanting access to or that kind of deck that you're wanting just loses to Endurance. And that's why it can't interact very well. Like Storm just loses to Endurance. And... Decks are rare even in Legacy and Vintage. I don't think I'd say that's the case. Like, Show and Tell is uh, popular in Legacy. You've got Ant. You've got um, Doomsday. You've got um, S. Like, you've got a decent bit of spell, spell based combo. Day in MH3? Absolutely not. Not a chance. I mean, I know it wouldn't be as good as like uh, as Legacy Doomsday, but I still don't think that would be the kind of card that would be healthy to have in the format. Stack-based combo is a more accurate description because what stack-based combo demands the format is much different than living in. Yeah, I agree. Like, 
we need a combo deck that requires your opponent to have like a counter spell or multiple counter spells right there and doesn't just get hosed by like endurance. Land. Deck does not believe in lands, apparently. Bring back hoops all spells. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, hoops would be like safer now than it was before. Uh, just because you have counter spell, like actual factual counter spell in the format now or now. Hoops does die to endurance, yeah. Char Belcher could be considered uh, the spell-based combo deck you're looking for. But I don't think the deck itself is very good. This is game three, right? Spent two games never seeing a second land. As soon as I say that. Let's print some cards to make it good. So, I would never recommend Wizards print cards for the sole purpose of trying to push an archetype. Because it never ends up that it pushes that archetype. It always ends up that it breaks something else. Like... <laughs> Like, oh, let's push, push Force of Negation because it really helps to, uh, to protect against combo decks. What does it also do? Breaks the combo decks. Watsi well, should put price for progress into the format. Like, I'd be okay with price of progress. Do I think it should be in the format? Probably not. And when I say that, I mean, like, do I think that it's the kind of car that you just randomly one day say, hey, let's just throw it in the format, call it a day? I don't think so. But... Good card. Very good card. And fetch lands. Well, then you're literally just pioneer. Like formats need an identifying presence and identity of pioneers, no fetch lands. Sweet. Dredge. Yeah, those are silver stone cool. Honestly, banning fetch lands would be super interesting. I don't know if it would fix much, but it's definitely interesting. I mean, I think if they banned fetch lands, I wouldn't play modern anymore. Because then there is just not enough to separate it from, like, Pioneer. And I'm not interested in playing a format that uh, is just the same as another format. <laughs>
Kevin coming in with the raid. Welcome, welcome everybody from a, from a KO Diamonds stream. I'll be talking shit about my format. I'm not talking shit about your format. I'm talking shit about people who are wanting to ban fetch lands in modern. Completely different from your format. Like, not even the same thing anymore. Ooh. We are just actively never winning this game if we don't uh, find a battle rage right. That's pretty great. They uh, put the Silver Smoke Ghoul back on top of the Golgari Thug and then Ragavan Trigger resolved and exiled it. <laughs> All right. Narc Amoeba and a chill, but I guess they don't get back. Um, what's his name? So, Silver Smoke Ghoul. Press progress would be a really nice way to punish greedy stuff like that or even sinkhole. So, how many times have you played against four color and they've just gone like, all right, get basic forest, uh, strap it up with an abundant growth, next turn, fetch up a basic island, ice fang coaddle, turn after that basic planes to fairy. Like, I don't even know if price of progress would be enough against that deck. It would be solid, it would be reasonable, but... I don't know if it would be enough. The new dredge list fucking blow. Uh, this is not the new dredge list. This is somebody playing gemstone caverns and it looking really, really bad. Ice Fang, what do you mean they only go turn two, Ren? Okay, well, and substitute fetch up basic island for fetch up basic mountain. And then go get your, uh, go get your Ren off that. Get a land back and get your basic next turn. They do have a stinkweed in the yard, so I guess we're just like trying to find a kill here. Which we cannot. Right, put that Narcomoeba back on top. Put the Narc Amoeba back on top. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> My Narc Amoeba. <laughs> Okay. Battle Rage. Removal spell. Street Grades. Bobbles. Oh, man. You remember when I kept saying, what if Bobble were just a live magic card? Yeah. 
Rockbridge Farm remembers. learning um i'm a simple man i see merchant of the veils and i cast them okay okay don't don't hit a creeping chill No creeping chill. No creeping chill. I don't see a creeping chill. Nice. <laughs> Get out of here, dredge. You weren't a cool deck then. You're not a cool deck now. <laughs> Okay, Dothy Voidwalker looks great. Licensed her, so unfortunately, it's necessary. Blood Moon's a lot better on the play than the draw, but not doing much else. So embarrassed as a dredge player. <laughs> so Deck is crying in his sleep right now with all the dredge shit talking going on in chat. I mean, so Deck's the exception. Like, so Deck's gonna make a good dredge deck regardless of what actual 75 cards he plays, but all these dredge fanboys and dredge wannabes, they couldn't tell a good dredge deck if it came up and bit them in the ass. I don't care about anything in this hand that doesn't say uh, Team or Battle or Death Shadow Team or Battle Rage. So we're going to take the Cathartic Reunion and see if opponent rips the land off the top. Do not. Here's a copy of Death Shadow. Here's a copy of Death Shadow once more for a second time. Steam Vents. In your triple Golgari thug hand, you were grabbing Steam Vents. Sus. Thug. Fetch land. Fetch land. Hard to express how little I care about any of these cards. Hi, uh. Wrong choice. Exclamation TBR kill. Bam. All right, 
can we agree at some point that Mishra's Bobble has like not done anything relevant this league? In fact, there are multiple times where we pointed out that if Mishra's Bobble were like an actual spell, we probably could have been in a good spot. Bobble confirmed sucks. There we go. I think without the cantrips, the bobble's no good. I mean, don't tell that to the people on the internet because holy crap, they're aggressive when you say I don't play bobble. Eddie Doom. Uh, yeah. It's reasonable. 56 card deck. Like, I had a dude telling me that Bobble was just, and I quote, strictly better than Street Wraith. In my deck with Death Shadows, Scourge of the Sky Claves, uh, Teamer Battle Rage, Bobble is strictly better. Or more. Like, I'm in no way saying Bobble is a bad card. I love Bobble. Bobble is great. I don't think it's a card that you just automatically slam in your deck because you're running like Dragon's Rage Channeler or something. Also, what the hell is my opponent playing? It's like Hollow One. Both scared and concerned. Oh no, this is the Jund Aggro deck. Yeah, I saw this one on a uh, on Goldfish. I get it. Sometimes it can be better to have actual spells over bobbles. So like the point I tried to make to some people was uh, bobble incentivizes you to work on like filtering your draws uh, to not have a spell right now to try to set up for the next turn or the turn after that or whatever. And that's not necessarily the game plan that, like, I want to play with this deck. Like, I very much want to try to kill my opponent, like, ASAP if possible. And just got, like, absolutely berated for not, not knowing how Bobble works. Had somebody actually ask me, do you know that you can crack Bobble on your opponent's upkeep, see what they're drawing, and then draw two cards on your turn? Like, oh my god, what? Are you serious? You can do that? Holy crap. Why didn't anybody tell me about this? <laughs> like, that's crazy. got to I've got to inform the post about this pretty good our fire on holy heat ragavan so we are taking ragavan Take Ragavan. Play 
play a marsh flats past the turn. I could. No, I don't want to shuffle away. Scourge. This sounds toxic. Oh, it absolutely was. Like, it was absolutely hilarious. So much so that I'm going to see if I can uh, pull up the post without, like, revealing names. Um, that reveals names. Never mind. Not a good way I can, uh, show it, but... Bobble filters, turns on delirium and gives information of your opponent. Only three cards. Or only three things, not much at all. So, we're getting into... <laughs> this guy gets it. We're getting into the conversation again of like, I am not belittling Bobble in any way. I'm not saying Bobble is a bad magic card. I'm not saying that it uh, doesn't have... Plenty of fantastic uses, whatever. I am simply saying that I don't think it's an automatic inclusion in every deck ever. Bobble also sort of does scry one if you use your own deck with fetches. Oh my. We really think I don't know how Bobble works, don't we? But, but Mike, did you know that if you pair ERC with Bobble, you can surveil on turn one? Holy shit. Say it to me slower. Okay. We know they've got an unholy heat and an unknown, right? Would have cycled Wraith in response to Tarfire. You mean the cycled Wraith that wouldn't have given me Delirium and wouldn't have saved the Channeler? Is that the uncycled Wraith we're talking about? <laughs> the uncycled Wraith that's about to save my shadow? It wouldn't have given me delirium. I only had uh, lands and sorceries. I didn't have a creature. And uh, remember when I said that uncycled wraith that was about to save my shadow? Oh, wait, I'm done. It's all good. <laughs> Would have been correct. Second unholy heat. Well, that one does get me, I guess.
So we chump block a Tarmogoyf here. Next turn, Scourge plus Agadine back a Shadow. that that's a good awakening for two that's fair that's fair I kind of forgot about the Scourge going to the yard, so good call. Good call. All right, opponent. Um, you are aggressively dead. Dead quite a few ways. I feel like they're out is just block the uh the ragavan and hope I don't fetch. <laughs> There we go. Could have kicked the Scourge. I could have, and I could have gone down to a range in which I died a Bolt or Tar Fire or Seal of Fire. So, feel like that might have been a little aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, but it's an achievement to kick it. That's fair. That's that's a solid argument right there. Okay, curse is great. Terminate's great. Um, maybe EE. -E. Battle rage bad. Sweet rage man. Nah. Take a look at. It would have been dead to kick Scourge because Scourge would have grown. Possibly. Did I have enough life to uh, to make that happen, though? Because I would have had to have fetched. Because uh, all I had left was another shock land. I didn't have another basic. And then I would have had to ping myself off the nurturing peatland. So I don't think I could have done it. Yeah, I saw their list. I don't know if it was this exact uh, person, but I saw this kind of list that 5 owed. It's like red, black, delirium. Or red, green, delirium. With the uh, Blood Braid Marauder. Any seal of fires. Here, there's like no way this channel is living, so I kind of just want to like filter through the next few draws. Keep a 
one lander. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, go, go, secret removal mode on Ragavan. Combo, combo. <laughs> I want to see if it was this opponent that was playing the uh, red green list. Well, I guess we just have to terminate. Not them. Blasphemous. All right. I know they've got a seal of fire. See if we can get you to use either a block or a seal of fire on Ragavan. Nice. I think Ragavan dismembering to terminate would have been better. Why? Or reason. Like, they were going to have the Seal of Fire regardless. So. Fair enough. Okay. Good old uh, Get them Dead Shadow. Nice little four one. I guess we'll uh, pop chest celebrate. What do we got? Orberigmos and whatever moonlight bargain is. We do better. Get leaf arch druid. Some modern horizons card. I don't think I've ever seen before. Arcane Adaptation. Oh, man. These chests are, uh... No! <laughs> Why are these still in the chest? Get it out of here. Dahlia. Okay. Um... I really don't think Bobble, like, played any part in our wins there. And there were several points where we said like, hey, if this were a land or a spell or something, it would have just been better. Um, 
like I don't want to go as far as saying Bobble is bad. I get the synergy with Dragon's Rage Channeler. I get when you can use Bobble, what it does. It's uh, it's good, but it's coming at the cost of a live card. This is the part that I think like nobody ever wants to discuss about Mishra's Bobble. It comes at the cost of a live card right now. It's a, well, maybe I I see something good off the top and I want to keep it there. But if I don't, then it's the, just the same as a random draw anyway. Uh, if I tap out for Bobble, then whatever I draw on the opponent's turn is this, the exact same card I would have drawn on my next draw step regardless. But... It's like sometimes you're going to dig or you're going to dig one card deeper with Bobble, but at the cost of just having something in your hand when you had the Bobble that would have been live anyway. So you're like hoping that that two cards deeper is better than whatever you have in your hand at that moment. I don't know. I just don't think it's cut and dry. Bobble's a lot better when you have a higher amount of instants. That's why it's so good in Murktide. I mean, it's also good in Murktai because it gives you a free second spell off of Ledger Shredder. Um, reasonable on turn one. You've got payoffs like Unholy Heat. You care about the size of your graveyard with things like Murktide. Because even if, like, Bobble doesn't help grow Murktide, it does just help to cast it. And that's a big point. Uh, but for anybody who uses the argument of, like, Bobble makes your deck 56 cards. I'll say it once and I'll I'll never say it again. If that's your argument, you're probably an idiot. Because there's a reason that like Amulet Titan doesn't play Bobble. Storm didn't play Bobble. Uh, you could look at 7,500 decks on Goldfish that could benefit if they played a 56 card deck, but don't because that's not, not how the magic card works. <laughs> You're not just playing bobble and your deck is automatically a 56 card. It's not, I don't know how to express it any better than that. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. It's not the case. It's the same thing as, like Amulet Titan not playing Street Wraith. It's not just, oh, it's a 56 card deck. Can you imagine Bobble drawing the card immediately? It would be banned. Oh, it absolutely would be. It would be, it would be a 56 card deck if it drew the card immediately. But it doesn't. There's a cost associated with it. <laughs> and the cost is if you want that card that you see off Bobble. You can't play stuff now. You can't tap out now because you want the card later. You don't get the card now. You get the card not now. Not now is not the same as now. Now would be 56 card deck. Not now is not 56 card deck. <laughs> I feel like I'm making the most useless uh, argument ever. But... That's just the best way I can put it is I I said I would only say it once. I'm not going to say it again. But yes, if you think that's your argument, I've said what I said about what I think is uh, is your mental state at the moment.